I love exploring the Netherlands. Be it by the bus, the train, the metro, even with my own two legs. I love visiting small villages and cities just like this one, Wagnie, to check out what kind of vibe they got. This is an absolute gem of a city located in the southern middle portion of the Netherlands, the province of Gelderland. Wagnie boasts modern and robust infrastructure, beautiful, calm and quiet neighborhoods just like this one, and a fascinating mix of Dutch people and international people. Wagnie is the Netherlands best kept secret in terms of livability that I've seen. I mean, look at this house that I randomly came across when I was walking in the city center of Wageningen. You will see houses like this all over Wageningen, but also in the neighboring towns of Ede, Bennekom, and realistically, so many other cities around the Netherlands. I'm originally from the USA, and I love taking these daily random expeditions because I love comparing the quality of life in Dutch cities to American cities. Residents in Wageningen, for example, will lead very fulfilling and healthy lives, largely facilitated by a phenomenal and robust infrastructure just like this protected side path bicycle lane. Wageningen also boasts a lot of green spaces which amplifies livability in the city. But I argue that Wageningen can do a lot more to improve livability in the city by only changing one thing. Wageningen is located in the middle of the country, far away from cities like Amsterdam, Utrecht, Rotterdam, Delft, Leiden, and the Randstad area in general. Wageningen has a very interesting lie, and when we zoom in, with my computer mouse now, I'm going to show you the city center of Wageningen, right here. This becomes relevant later in this video. And here is the river Rhine. I think it's so cool how Wageningen is just chilling minding its own business on the River Rhine, one of the most famous rivers in Europe. Now, panning our camera to a three-dimensional view, you're going to notice that there is a lot of farmland around this area. This is so cool and the reason why I like Wageningen so much is because it flirts between being a bustling cityscape and a rural isolated town. When you go and visit Wageningen, you will notice that you get the best of both worlds in this regard. Now, let's take a zoom in and see what's going on in the street level of Wageningen city center. From this clip, this city looks similar to any other Dutch city that you would see, right? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. In this video specifically, we're going to take a look at the curb, just like I isolated in this clip. How can the street curb improve the livability of Wageningen and align with Wageningen's sustainability goals as a municipality? Here on the side of the street, you see a planter complete with vegetation and two trees. It is exactly in the context of these types of planters and swales that I will introduce the role of the curb in Wageningen. Just over a month ago now, I visited Enschede in my first YouTube video. And I was so inspired by this stormwater curb cutout system on the streets, I think a very similar thing could be applied in Wageningen. But first, let's see what Wageningen streets look like these days. Ah, this street, so typical Wageningen. With the exception of major bypass roads, most streets in Wageningen are paved with brick. If you're familiar with this city, or if you ever go visit, you will notice, especially on a neighborhood level, that these brick roads bring a lot of personality into this city. However, the downside is that from a hydrological perspective, these bricks have a poor infiltration capacity. This means that during a rain event, all of the stormwater excess will outflow into the sewer. How can this be improved? As I pan my camera here, you will also notice a raised median, which is completely paved over again. How can this also be improved? Those are very interesting questions to consider. And if we look at this raised ma- uh, What? <laughs> Did you just see that? Now he's going the wrong way in traffic? What a legend. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I gotta respect the grind. Is that the Dutch way of cycling? <laughs> 
Anyways, if we look at this raised median and the traffic island with the stoplight, it is very simple to improve livability in this immediate area by one, introducing these curb cutouts so that the stormwater has another place to go and replanting both this median and the island, just like that lady, that lady liked it, replant them with grass, trees, or flowers. That will improve the green space in this area and it immediately again improve the surrounding livability. Here is where our friend took a wrong turn into oncoming traffic. Dear Wagner, you already have islands separating the bicyclists on the left from the motorized traffic on the right, which makes it definitely safer for bicyclists to traverse this path. Why not exploit these very islands, break the curbs of the island, if not on the car side, at least on the bicyclist side? And instead of these places where you have stormwater outflowing into the sewer, you will have a much improved stormwater management model when you plant these islands with trees, grasses, or vegetation. Just break the curbs! Here's another angle of that same intersection, probably the busiest one in Wagner. You will notice first a lot of bicyclists. Oh, that lady did not like to show her face in camera. <laughs> Alright, whatever. And if you look at this Dutch intersection, look at the separation between the bicyclists and the motorized traffic. Look at that island. That's so beautiful. But it's missing curb cutouts. Ooh, nice tractor. <laughs> and panning your camera to the left, you will notice a long strip of vegetated swale right next to the road. But look at the curb. The curb is continuous. What an absolute waste this is not to have curb cutouts and have a little bit of a depression to funnel the stormwater in this very grass. Wagner, I recommend breaking the curb in this exact same spot and if you don't want to do it, give me a sledgehammer one night and I'll go out and do it. Oh man. This street absolutely breaks my heart as a civil engineer. It almost makes me want to cry every time I'm here because I see the potential. Here is General Fuchsweg, a critical connecting road from Wagni city center to the wealthy parts of Wagni in the east and up a hill, one of the only hills in the area. On both sides of the street, you will notice grassy planters complete with grasses, bushes, and trees. What a huge missed opportunity this is, because look at the curb. Up and down the street on both sides, for the whole length of the hill, are continuous curbs. That means if rain falls down on this hill, it has to travel all the way down the hill, maybe intercepted by drains along the way. Instead, just cut the curb, introduce curb cutouts here, break the curb so that you can take advantage of these grassy swales as in situ stormwater management. Look at that drain, for example, on the opposite side of the street. What is it doing? It goes directly into the sewer and you already have a natural drain on both sides of the street. And furthermore, if you break the curb and introduce these planters, this will improve the local livability because by introducing more plants, you will have a beautiful, beautiful swale complete with various types of vegetation, which separates the bicycles on both sides of the street and also serves to be a nice eye candy. Here's me going down this hill on the very same street with my Ove feats. I mean, they did a great job planting these grassy swales to separate the motorized traffic on the left from the bicycles, just like me, and the pedestrians on the right. But what a huge missed opportunity again to integrate this grassy swale in together with the road. I mean, look at this curb on the left now. What is that curb even for? <laughs> Just break the curb. I'm telling you, this will very drastically improve your stormwater management model, Wagner. And look at this curb on the right hand side as well over here. This is a neighborhood. What is this curb doing? Why is it there? Just break the curb and instead of having this disintegration, you will have these bushes act as a natural catchment for all this excess stormwater. water. 
Wachningen's parking lots are also very interesting and poorly utilized. But before I tell you about that, I must also say that I'm not out here to roast Wachni for the worst. I think that a good roasting session is always a good way to learn, right? Anyways, going back to the parking, look at the curbs. You saw the curb on the first one, now look at these two. Why is the curb continuous over here? Why is it continuous? Break the curb again, just like other parking lots around the world, and you will again have a more effective stormwater management technique, and this is also another way to retain water to delay the peak outflow and reduce the sewer demand in the long run, especially during a rare rainfall event. But I will say that having this green in the parking lot does look very, very nice indeed. But again, why is this drain there? And break the curbs, please. For my sanity. <laughs> but perhaps the craziest part of this entire story I'm telling you is that these curb cutouts already exist in Vachni, but only in two places, around this roundabout and one just north of it. If you look at the soil around every individual curb cutout, you will notice that the soil is very worn, which means that in tandem with the swales, the curb cutouts are effectively managing large volumes of stormwater runoff. Seen from this angle, for example, imagine how much stormwater runoff has been treated on site, captured by the swale through the means of this curb cutout instead of effluing out into the sewers. I am a huge fan of this type of technology also because these curb cutouts introduce a lot of new green spaces when properly integrated, which improves local livability. I mean, imagine if these curb cutouts were not here. You would also need separate drainage systems just to be able to sustain such green spaces. In conclusion, Vachni still has a ways to go with respect to its urban water management, but when you have a city that looks like this, I don't think it's very hard to implement a couple of curb cutouts. In any case, thank you very much for watching. This has been nobody else but a young engineer, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.